Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, airline meeting with President Trump was a missed opportunity. The first flying car company to start selling commercial models. Almost 3 million personal and commercial drones will be shipped in 2017. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's February 16th and this is Airborne Unlimited. Former AOPA president and CEO Craig Fuller says that the meeting last week between airline executives and President Donald Trump was a missed opportunity for the aviation community to outline a path for the modernization of the nation's air transportation system. Fuller, who is now chairman of the Fuller Company and vice chairman of the FAA's Management Advisory Committee, said that the entire aviation community, including the airlines, have been at the table with FAA leadership developing recommendations for the NAS. But with only airlines represented at the meeting with the president, only a very narrow point of view was represented. Did someone think leaving out general aviation, business aviation, air traffic controllers, pilot organization, aircraft and avionics manufacturers, as well as other stakeholders would enhance this meeting? Fuller writes. Fuller said, quote, it's disappointing to see opportunities missed and misimpressions imparted any time a President of the United States is willing to focus on the real needs of the aviation community. We can and need to do better. ANN quite agrees. This week, flying car manufacturer PAL-V has officially started the sales of its commercial models, the Liberty Pioneer and the Liberty Sport. Robert Digamont's CEO of PAL-V said, quote, after years of hard work beating the technical and qualification challenges, our team succeeded in creating an innovative flying car that complies with existing safety standards determined by regulatory bodies around the world. Following the successful test programs of their concept vehicles in 2009 and 2012, PAL-V started the design of the commercial products that have been launched. PAL-V is now ready to fulfill their first client orders. The new model design incorporates a unique dual-engine propulsion that further increases the safety of the PAL-V Liberty. While driving, the lower suspension and tilting cockpit adds to the sports car feel on the road. A novel design approach serves to avoid a number of common pilot errors by design making the PAL-V Liberty very safe and easy to operate. Later in 2017, we will start building a pre-production series followed by the manufacturing of the first PAL-V Liberties for our early Pioneer clients. Deliveries of road and air certificated models are scheduled by the end of 2018. This truly is a pivotal time in aviation and mobility history, adds Digamonts. After the break, millions of commercial drones will be shipped this year. Explore No Limits Flying in the FAA Certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA, one of the top three best selling LSAs in the U.S. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. The dream is real, a truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics personal jet kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Production of drones for personal and commercial use is growing rapidly, with global market revenue expected to increase 34% to reach more than $6 billion in 2017 and grow to more than $11.2 billion by 2020. According to a new forecast from Gartner Inc., almost 3 million drones will be produced in 2017, 39% more than in 2016. 
the overall drone market will see substantial growth, but the dynamics of the personal and commercial submarkets are very different. Personal drones will continue to increase in popularity as an affordable extension of consumer smartphones for taking photographs and selfies and for other entertainment options. The market for commercial drones is much smaller, with a significantly higher average selling price in comparison with personal drones. With more countries solidifying their drone regulations, the market is beginning to stabilize. Agriculture was considered to be the first big commercial drone market, but pricing and economic dynamics around tighter yields and returns on investment mean that the commercial agriculture drone market is not growing at the pace of other commercial drone markets. Delivery drones continue to capture the attention of the news media, but will not be a major factor for several years. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update, highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. The Aero News Network is pleased to announce new programming initiatives and programs for the upcoming 2017 AEA Convention and Trade Show. Live coverage will commence March 13th with the webcasting of AEA's Pivotal New Product Introduction Series, in which upwards of 30 avionics innovators will reveal new products and programs. Programming will commence at 0830 Central Time. ANN is introducing a new live viewing portal with much enhanced functionality, including social media outreach and enhanced chat functions. The portal will be available via www.airborne-live.net. Two days of live interviews, features, and special programming will start March 14th at 1200 Central Time, with at least three hours of live interviews concentrating on the news and announcements shown at the previous day's NPI. On Wednesday, March 15th, the second live interview session will commence at 1300 Central Time. The day's programming will concentrate on recent avionics issues and discussions, AEA's annual update on national and international political scene, the AEA scholarship program, and other industry issues. ANN will be unveiling some very exciting new program innovations at AEA this year, including pre- and post-show mobile live features, including both the MPI sessions, as well as additional reporting from the floors and booths of the exhibit floor. Be sure to log on to www.airborne-live.net to catch all the action. After these messages, are you ready for another flying car design? There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Come experience the best of model aviation at the AMA Expo East in Secaucus, New Jersey. 100 booths, flying demos, make and take activities for kids, and many guest speakers, including AMA Ambassador Hoot Gibson. Visit amaexpo.com to get your tickets, and we'll see you February 24th to 26th. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Call it the dream that will just not die. There is a new entry into the field to produce a flying car. The GPA VTOL aircraft takes the concept of a multi-rotor UAV and scales it up to carry a person and to fit in your garage. Still only a CAD concept, six arms would attach to the top of the fuselage with the middle arms able to fold in for storage. The United States Marine Corps recently released a schedule of AV-8B and V-22 Osprey Air Show demonstrations for 2017. The Harrier's first air show demonstration 
will be at the Rhode Island National Guard Open House and Air Show in North Kingston, Rhode Island on May 20th through 21st. A filmmaker creating a movie about the restoration of a C-47 has established a GoFundMe page to help finance the project. The filmmaker Paul Matres of Fitzgibbon in Queensland, Australia, said his grandfather flew C-47s during World War II, and it became the aircraft type I had grown up to adore. Nigeria's largest airline has been placed in receivership and may fold. A Rick Air has been unable to pay workers and creditors prompting the move. Asset management firm Amcom said that the airline, quote, has been in a precarious situation largely attributable to its heavy financial debt burden, bad corporate governance that required immediate intervention. The City Commission of Lawrence, Kansas will not take any action on establishing skydiving drop zones near its airport until a review of an FAA ruling is completed. An FAA safety assessment said that there are three areas near the airport that would be suitable for drop zones. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Some jerks just need to get a life. The Mesa County Sheriff says that the radar tower at Grand Junction, Colorado was recently vandalized by gunfire. The tower is located in the desert of Sea Road in Grand Junction. The dish was found to have been hit by as many as seven bullets, according to the Mesa County Sheriff's Office. Wednesday at about 4.30 p.m., Mesa County Sheriff's deputies responded to a report of vandalism at the FAA Radar Tower located in the desert off Sea Road. The tower is used for Department of Defense and airport operations. The tower had to be shut down to assess the damage. There were upwards of seven bullet strikes to the dish and a red warning light was broken. The FAA is still assessing the extent of the damage. If it needs to be replaced, it will cost about $250,000. In the meantime, it is still in service and flights have not been affected. Mesa County Sheriff's deputies believe the damage occurred within the last two weeks. According to the release, anyone having information about this crime, please contact the Mesa County Sheriff's Office at 970-242-6707 or Crime Stoppers at 241-7867. Information reported to Crime Stoppers that leads to an arrest can earn you up to $1,000 cash reward. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.